जी तो बच्चों कैसे हैं आप द वीडियो इज मेड फॉर ओ लेवल स्टूडेंट्स हु आर गोइंग टू अपीयर इन 2023 एग्जाम एंड दिस वीडियो इज गोइंग टू हेल्प यू हेल्प यू आउट टू राइट अ कॉम्प्रिहेंसिव एसे एंड यू नो एंड यू पीपल नो दैट देयर आर देयर आर थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ एसे दैट्स सपोज्ड टू अपीयर इन योर एग्जाम एंड वी विल डिस्कस इन दिस वीडियो थरली एंड यू नो covering all the aspects and i can assure you if you follow these steps you can get you can get a plus grade guaranteed so let's start um uh, writing essays for understanding essay what is that just get an overview what sort of examination is going to help for you so there is a paper 1 and paper 2 paper 1 is uh, for one will have two section section 1 and section 2 second one comprises of director writing it uh, it it has 30 marks section 2 um, it is composition again 30 marks paper 2 section 1 reading for ideas and then reading for meanings and here is director writing letter speech report article and uh, as far as composition is concerned narrative descriptive and argument clear let's start with writing essays uh we will uh, make a separate video of direct writing inshallah later on and uh, this video is going to satisfy all your question you just need to listen to uh, it till the end so what is writing essay writing essay is an art and art can't be learned without untiring effort and strong desire to attain it okay this is writing essay uh what is uh, basically essay is uh, everybody wants to write an essay and it is obviously a compass compulsory thing an essential part for our education system you need to follow it but why we are on it most of the students majority of the students uh get nervous and you know they get on their nerves they they feel really really difficult to write an essay do you know why here are the the reasons number one these are called the barriers of writing The number one is I can't find time to write. Obviously, most of people, uh, you know, have excuses like this. I need more reading to or ideas to write, so I don't have reading skill or ideas. That's why I can't write. The third one is I need proper atmosphere to write. I need a reason for an inspiration to write, and I don't know what to write or I don't know how to write. So these are the possible excuses. You just find it out which sort of. a uh, wonderful excuse you have for yourself uh, because you don't write much okay then here are the basic things well, i'm just going to tell you that it's very simple for writing essays you just need to have idea and from where you can get idea idea come from deep insight rich imagination keen observation innovation and innovative approach with this thing you can if you have ideas so this is the writing an essay if you don't have ideas you can't write essays by the way and is the next one very important one you if you don't have a desire or need to express no matter how great brilliant idea you have you won't be able to write because you don't desire to design and the third one is it's called with words vocabulary and syntax and then the last one is targeted audience audience for whom you are going to write it is it clear to you okay then next Here is the type of essays, types of essays: narrative, descriptive, argumentative, expository, uh, persuasive, general, scientific information, personal, informational, informal essays. But remember one thing: as far as all of us concerned, you need to focus on narrative, descriptive, and argumentative. And out of these three options, you you need to write only one essay. You have to select one essay. uh in your paper it might be possible that you are given two narratives two descriptives one argumentative and it is also a possibility that uh, the examiner sets two essays for argumentative two descriptive and one narrative and it is also possible that there should be two descriptives and uh, two narratives two descriptive one uh, descriptive so the composition is all was there you know it can be in, in any any pattern but, but the, the main thing is that what you need to do this you need to 
get expertise in any one of the three out of these three you get mastery in argumentative descriptive or narrative because you know this so uh, for the safer side you need to focus on at least two narrative or argumentative narrative or descriptive direct descriptive or argumentative you have to decide right now which kind of essay you're going to write in the paper because this is called pre-writing techniques if you are ready for that you will be able to perform well and if you have made your mind okay so writing is not a problem i will write right in the paper and i'm telling you this it's a serious mistake that you will well, here is uh, narrative essay. Uh, if you have decided to write narrative essay, what, and I'm going to give give you another video for that, in which we will we will only discuss about narrative essays. Here we are going to talk about general things about this. So six, six elements uh, work work together in any narrative. Remember these six points. You must have included. You must include these six points in your narrative essay. The number one is account, the common story. In interesting set of events, incidents, or memories known as the plot of the story. And the second one is character. There should be characters with the natural set of dialogue, the way, the very texture of the story. And then there is proper setting. Proper setting means the story in terms of time, place, and action. Time means at what time all that uh, actions happened, and what what was the place, and what what are the actions that really happened in that story. Roughly called three unities of story. And then there's a story moves on a conflict. Conflict means problems, issues, suspense, or attention. It might be between person versus self, person, machine, society, or somewhere else. And then there should be theme. Very important. Theme of a story. The events highlight the ongoing theme. Theme means is it a happy story? Is it a sad story? Is it a tragical one? Is it a nostalgic one? Or what sort of it? Is? So the theme, you know, moves on throughout the story. And then there is a solution. No story should be, you know, it's not that much uh, ob obligatory part of the story, but there must be a solution. If there is a proper starting, there should be a proper ending of it. And ending might, might be tragic or might be we want. It's all up. And it is, it is written in past tense using first or third person pronoun. And then we talk about descriptive essays. Descriptive essays. Descriptive essays. Draws a visual picture of person, place, thing, theme, event, or an idea. In this type of essay, one single topic is explained vividly. Vividly means clearly, as if picture appears in your mind. If you write this, adjectives and adverbs are used frequently and freely in this in, 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 in this type of. This may be subjective or objective. Subjective means your point of view. Objective means the thing as it. Ideas are not told but showed. Ideas are not told. Not showed. It is not a story. It's a kind of a display of something. So it appeals the senses of the reader. It comprises five elements: sensory details, figurative language, dominant impression, precise language, and careful organization. Okay. It has three distinctive parts, and the and the introduction should be there, the middle part of the essay, and then the conclusion. Clear. Next one. And here is the author. You have decided to write this one. You need to follow it. in this type of essay. The writer is for her research-based point of view in research-based the kind of topic that you are going to talk about it it must be research one it must be you know unclearly and you must have heard and you must have read a lot about it so that you can talk about on different aspects it doesn't mean that you just have thought about something uh, an idea came to you and you start writing on it no it's not a case it's not a kind of a spoken verbal a discussion that you have to put in for your argumentative essay, it's a little bit more. It's like uh, it's even more uh, technical uh, type of essay that you need to put on it. So, writer, your position, your point of view about this. So, prove it with reason. Prove your point of view, the reason that why you say this, why you say this, and strengthen it with evidence. Give your examples, support. You know, gave a statement. Uh, well, the statement is given already. You have to prove it whether the statement is right or wrong. And presents counter argument. Counter argument means that whatever is written in the statement, go against for it. If you say that uh, students should not be, uh, you know, students should not be able to or should, should not attend their schools or colleges improperly, should not. And you must understand why should not. 
And if the thing uh, is it necessary for the students to be in uniform? So that is very much open. That you have you have to answer it yes or no. But when you say that yes, you must come up with arguments. You must come up with reasons. You must come up with with evidences. You must come up with examples and research work. So this work should be be done like this. Is it clear to you? I I think I'm making sense. So in the end, argumentative data. It is usually written in five paragraphs. These are five very important. The first paragraph states the writer's thesis statement and its scope. Means detail, how, when, where. First introductory part. The second paragraph proves the argument with the logic and obvious evidence. Whatever you said that, if you want to say that, yes, it's okay, then prove it with logic and obvious evidence. Then the third paragraph explains the argument persuasively, convincingly. The fourth paragraph contains the arguments that may be presented against the thesis statement. You can also say, for example, intro. In intro, explain the topic, what is there given? And then in the, in the first and the second paragraph, take one part, one positive aspect of the, of the topic and explain it. And then in the third paragraph, take the opposite idea and then describe it. And then the fourth, present contrast and similarities to it. And in the fifth paragraph, give your own point of view. It can also be different. Well, there are three basic things. One is reading technique, other is writing technique, and the third is post reading technique. You must understand all these techniques. And here are some of the pre writing techniques. Pre writing technique means there uh, are basic skills that enable a writer to think and develop the structure of an essay before writing. And time of essay is determined by brainstorming technique. Now look at this, very important. If you have decided time of the essay determines brainstorming technique. If you're going to write narrative essay, your brain writing, the brainstorming technique should be different. If you're going to do uh, descriptive essay, your brainstorming technique is different. If you're going to do for documented, your brainstorming technique is different. In case of narrative, we think on six basic elements. So understand these things. In case of descriptive essay, ex or explicit, you go for what? Listening, clustering, free writing, making notes, outline. These are all the things I mean, we need to follow it. And then writing technique means, first of all, we determine which type of essay we are going to write. A paragraph is basic unit of an essay, and sentence is the basic unit of a paragraph. Good organized sentence is the unit of an essay. I figure it means it's simple and effective. That's five paragraph. And the fourth paragraph introduction comprising many minimum five sentences. We are talking about this. The main body of the sentence comprises three paragraphs, and the last and the fifth paragraph concludes the, the, the question. Remember, each paragraph has four essential elements, namely unit, order, cohesion, and comprehension. There is another example for that. Introductory part of essay, in a part, in a two, in a three, in a four, in a five. And I think we have done this technique so many times in class. Anyhow, well, here is uh, a man who found the term. So for it, one is doing this. There is another example for this. I think we have also done this many times in class, but uh, I'm going to read it for you. Here is a discipline. For example, you're going to write uh, a descriptive essay on. So here is your introductory part of this. This is your introductory part of this. Discipline is a set of invisible principles and that keep our lives visibly smooth and comfortable. This is your very first introductory sentence. This is called your topic sentence. And topic sentence followed by, topic sentence is going to be followed by uh, four, three sentences. Like, it trains a group of people to behave in a productive way in every walk of life. Productive way. In every way, walk of life. This is the benefit of being disciplined. Main idea. With the little observation, we can notice the perfect discipline throughout the divine system of nature. Uh, the importance of discipline. We can find discipline everywhere in nature. This is the productive way of nature. Then, the develop the developed nations have realized the importance of organized life. You, you have noticed another thing. I'm using here organized life. Here, I'm using discipline. 
there I am using another word for that. I never repeat one word after that. Remember this. If we want to see our country strong and first prosperous, we need to we need to bring social, economic, and educational education institutions, educational institutions under strict discipline. Do you understand what other sort of things are there? First sentence, second sentence, third sentence, fourth, and fifth one. And what is this topic? One idea why it is important. Discipline in the universe and the civilized people or the advanced uh, nations follow discipline and they got success. That is the these are the main points. And now you can take one point and then uh, only the name. Paragraph one discuss how discipline trains the society to work better. Paragraph two explains how universe exhibits perfect discipline and the lessons we learn. Then this point. And then paragraph is depends on development a huge. You just need to expand these points and you as it is prepared for you. And the conclusion, give you a conclusion, then this is the conclusion. Uh, because discipline is very much important in your life. You need to follow discipline in your personal, social, economical life, and you see the result. That's all. That is your discipline. Okay, then. Next part is. Who are this? Marx game. Very important. You see that this video is a very discussed work. I am I have brought it for you. So highly accurate, highly accurate writing, and apart from very occasional steps, highly appropriate to choose the task type. This is A plus way. Highly accurate. Accurate writing means your wording and ideas are the same one, expressive one. Apart from very occasional steps, no matter it. Goes highly appropriate to choose task type, whatever you are uh, trying to do, you have formed it very well. Clear quality of language, sentence structure, sentence varied for particular effects. Did, you know, different words, different expressions for different situations. Verb forms, largely correct and appropriate. Verb forms, tense consistently used. Cabri wide and precise. Punctuation accurate and helpful. Spelling accurate apart from very occasional steps. Paragraph have unity, length, and how evidence is planning. Appropriate and content, consistently relevant, interest aroused, and sustained. Tone, mood, and registers entirely appropriate. Descriptions have well developed images, images helping create complex atmosphere. Argumentative is well developed and logical, even complex. Look at this complex. Narrative. Or complex, sophisticated, possibly tense, and may contain devices such as flashback techniques. You can mention it. This is, this is the market I have just mentioned for the A plus grade students. I'm just only concerned with A plus. I don't deal with anyone who is not, you know, level up to the level. This is your level. You're, you don't have a level of B or C grade. Well, next one. <clears throat> Post ID. You have written the essay. You have written your just check it out your grammar mistakes grammar mistakes has subject word agreement time tense expression mood adjective and word confusion supposition conjunction collocation loose construction unity in a, unity in a figurative language linking devices for translation conjunction word and passages for the effect logical spelling mistakes Using verbs form, making plural nouns, creativity, ideas, style, ap approach, spec, vocabulary, onomatopoeia, describing words, senseless words, the great contextual general impact, handwriting, characterization, three unities of time, place, and description of time, place, and using techniques to form. Class, if you're listening to me, these are the 10 points that I have taken out from all this, all the books, all the suggestions given by the Cambridge. That if you have grammar, if you have a good command over, over your grammar, you must understand these points. What is the argument? What is time? That's right. What is addictive and wrong? Preposition, connection, collocation, article. You don't mistake these things. It means that you're grammatically sound. Then you 
your sun construction, if you don't understand what whose construction is, variety of structure, sequence, uh, unity of paragraph, because the language is saying that your sentence structure is not up to the mark, and you can't get even B grade if you don't have a sentence structure. Clear to me. Then linked devices, conjunctive adverbs, contrast, spell, cause and effect, logical, you must understand all this. And then spelling mistakes, and then creativity, ideas will be new, style, approach, spec, all this. And then vocabulary, onomatopoeia, describing, senseless word, literary, contextual, figurative, these are the vocabulary you need to understand it. Then general impact, when we read this, it creates an impact. Check it out whether you have mentioned all these things or not, and all these things are appropriate or not. And for that, there's the next uh, uh, slide. I have given this all one by one. What are the rules? I'm just not going to explain it. I am leaving it up to you. If you are interested, if you really want to understand all these things, read one by one, thoroughly pause it, avoid, and see that if you can understand the mistakes given in it all, or given it or not. And you can understand them well and well. And let me tell you, if you understand all these things, if you take care of all these uh, sentences, nobody can stop you really to trust it. And then here is the seven mistakes that you can And here is the, I've, I've just added example as well, rule number six. And here is uh, rule number seven, subject only man. You know, this is a very, very comprehensive language. You just go for it. Just read it out. I bet you your old problem will be solved. As like grammar, just you need to, uh, you know, read one by one. This is subject rule number eight. Then rule number nine. Uh, I'm giving you this. Uh, this is rule number eight. Pause it and understand it. What are the problems? Have you you have read them all? In in you know in that book of grammar you have done it all you need to revise it and then subject you know, rule number twelve then this is time spent like mood and words and words that's like that's what we talk about just read them once adjective adverb conclusion very important preposition very important point. Preposition, and you just understand preposition place, preposition of direction, time, relation, coordination, coordinate, think conjunction, conjunction. Yes, you you, you know you don't remember today. I we discussed subordinate conjunction. I'm just, I'm not reading it, I'm leaving it up to you. Collocation, that is another very important. And then punctuation. Sometimes this is the thing that what is loose sentence and what is periodic sentence. And what is variety of structure? Please, this is very much, very important, very important. And then linking devices, sequence of attempts, unity in paragraph, figurative language, and all that. This is linking devices, the cause of comparison, contrast, time, addition, sequence, summary. Uh, you can just call it out and then read it out. Spelling mistakes. How you can find out these spelling mistakes. Creativity. Ideas should be new. Style should be new. Approach and respect. Vocabulary. Collocation. Look at what collocation means when you say have a bar, have a drink, have a good time, have a hair cut, have a small bed, have a problem, have a have rest, have lunch, have something. Then do business. 
do nothing, do favor. You know, give me a favor नहीं होता हम कहते हैं do me a favor होता है, do washing होता है, do your best होता है, do your hair होता है, do your homework होता है. जैसे keep a diary, make a bed, make a difference, make a mess. तो ये collocation है जो बड़ी important आप उसके लिए. लेकिन that's all ये punctuation है इसको देखिएगा कि सुन रहा सकते हैं वो मैंने. और ये अच्छा लगा नहीं. ये spelling very important इसको कर लीजिएगा. ये लिस्ट ऑफ सबॉर्डिनेट कनेक्शन है एंड दैट्स ऑल आई थिंक ये दो थिंग्स ले रही बच्चों ये मैंने आपको लिस्ट ऑफ सबॉर्डिनेट कनेक्शन आपको ये एक कंप्लीट पैकेज आपको दिया है जिसपे हमने डिस्कस करने वाली जो बातें हमने डिस्कस की हैं वो हमने डिस्कस ये किया है कि हमने जो डिस्कस किया वो ये किया है क्या होता है ऐसे की टाइप्स क्या होती हैं ठीक है ये हमने डिस्कस किया ऐसे क्या होता है ऐसे की टाइप्स और फिर हमने हाउ टू राइट एन ऐसे हमने हाउ का जिक्र किया और फिर जो मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट ने डिस्कस किया था वो वो चेक लिस्ट था चेक लिस्ट चेक लिस्ट से क्या मुराद है चेक लिस्ट से मुराद ये है कि आपकी ग्रामर की मिस्टेक्स कितनी है ग्रामर मिस्टेक्स आपने कितने की हैं फिर आपने सेंटेंस स्ट्रक्चर आपका किस अंदाज से किया है आपकी वैरायटी और क्रिएटिविटी उसमें कितनी थी तो ये बेटा अगर आप कुछ तरह से देख लेंगे ना तो ये आप मेरी मेरी तरफ से आपको बहुत बड़ा गिफ्ट है बेटा ये पिछले दस सालों की रिसर्च वर्क है जो मैंने आपके साथ शेयर किया एंड आई होप सो यू वैल्यू देख कर और इसको टाइम निकाल के सुकून से तो बेटा जी एंड कर देखेंगे और यहाँ पहुँच पहुँच कर मैं आपको मुबारकबाद दूँगा अगर आपने सारी वीडियो देखी है बेटा मेरी दुआएँ आप 